Well, have not, we talked about a, a release date for the base yet? November 19th. Okay, so we're, we're pretty close. Yeah. Now, uh, for you... Oh, for the base? Yes. I don't know. What, what was the November 19th date? Uh, for my CD. Okay, well, let's make sure we talk about that real quick. <laughs> so, so initially, and, and for our viewers there, um, we had talked about a Japanese-only release for you know the base, uh, but talking with Toshio, I said, hey, you know, we've got to bring you know, it's some to the states. Uh, I think everybody will appreciate that. But on the topic of your CD, you've got a November nineteenth. Really? Now, is, is that going to be Japan only, or or in the states oh, no. as well? Uh, I, all those licensed in Japan and self-published in Japan, mm -hmm. uh, but I just started there because I'm able to do that there. Uh, but it, right now, you can buy it now. Really, it's just okay. officially. Well, if they want, if somebody wants to go buy it, where can they go? Shukrani.com or TuneCore. Okay. Now uh, you're going to Japan in November as well. Uh, in uh, December. Yeah. Now, from what I understand, you've been in Japan so many times, you're almost half Japanese. <laughs> I think you may have a dual citizenship over there, <laughs> possibility. If they would give me one, I'd take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, I know we had extensive uh, conversations about Japan and how often you've been over there. Um, what about the European market? Do you find yourself going there at all? Well, <clears throat> I have gone to Europe many, many times with different uh, artists. And so actually, uh, next year when we start to support the CD, we'll probably start in Europe. Mm -hmm. Uh, first and then get to Japan because uh, in Japan it's a little bit difficult because I've been known as a uh, a side man. It's very difficult. In Japan they they wanted to sort of like put all-star musicians in your band, mm -hmm. which I don't put, care for. I don't think they understand that you can't just pick up what somebody else wants in your band mm -hmm. and have it be successful. I want to take my own band. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to start project somewhere else with the, who I want to play with and then get that going so then when I do get to Japan mm -hmm. I can bring who I want to bring well, well over your career that you've been <clears> playing um, yeah you, know, you play with just about anybody and everybody is there anybody you've never played with that you would like to invite I never play with miles never play with miles never will. Yeah, I'm gonna, I never will <laughs> <laughs> well he's in, sitting in the room isn't he from what I heard <laughs> <laughs> miles is everywhere Somebody mentioned my name. He is everywhere. That's right. His, his legacy is everywhere. I, I've heard stories about him, and, and very similar to to Frank Zappa, um, on when how he would orchestrate something, and if you're off, he could he point you out immediately when the whole band is going on. Mm -hmm. And I just found that you know, pretty amazing that somebody like that has such a good ear. Well, you know, that's what it takes. What about modern musicians today? Anybody well, that stands out? Um, that I would like to play with? Yes. Maceo. Okay. I'm playing with Maceo. Uh, I still have an opportunity to play with him because he's still around. <laughs> he's still around. But I've just about uh, shot my load as far as uh, playing with people. I love playing with, with uh, Marlena Shaw. I play with her every year in Japan. We're there for two weeks. She's a wonderful singer, mm -hmm. a wonderful lady. And I love the music, and I was a part of some of the stuff that we do uh, playing. So it's always great to go with her, David T. Walker, Harvey Mason, mm -hmm. and Larry Nash. Great band, great band. It makes you want to cry when you get the old dog. What, what is there anything that that you still want to do as a bass player? Anything that you would like to accomplish with the with with the bass? Nothing other than now I'm at an age where I want to do my music, and I want to command a bandstand that I choose. Mm -hmm. I want to choose the music. And I want to choose uh, the band members. Well, th this sounds like you know a, a, an absolutely fantastic year for you. Signature bass coming out, the new CDs coming out. Uh, you'll look to tour after that. And uh, what's next? Are you just wait till that bus stops and then get on another one? Um, yeah, I guess that's a good way to put it. <laughs> you know, I probably um, I don't like flying at all. Never have. But it is what it is, and you got to do it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a road warrior at all, but I will get on the two of us for a hot minute to support this CD. I'm not known to sing, and I'm singing on all the tracks on this CD, mm -hmm. and so I'm proud of that because it ain't bad. And I'm not just blowing my own horn, but it ain't <laughs> bad. Uh, so I'm enjoying that, and so like, gotta go step by step. I will support this CD. I've got two or three more on the shelf, more and more. More 
the, the, the one that's on the shelf is more jazz involved. It's right, more jazz. Right. Whereas stuff here is dance music, mm -hmm. you know. And all the the, the, the uh, oldie but goodie songs that are on it, like Papa Was Rolling Stone mm -hmm. and Brick House, mm -hmm. I just switched them up. We used to do that a lot in New York. We used to do it a whole lot. Take a song that's a hit mm -hmm. and change it up. Mm -hmm. you know, make it feel different. So that's what I've done to them. Brick House, Papa Was a Rolling Stone, Bill Withers used me up. Um, same song, but I put it in another place. Yeah. So after this is all over, I'm going to get back into wanting to play a little bit more jazz. Okay. A little bit more walking stuff or hand ballads and stuff like that okay. with my sixth string. Okay.